the Philippines has finally achieved major success. After years of being merely an observer in the global air defense technology race, this archipelagic nation has now officially made history. The Philippines has been granted the right to transfer fighter jet technology, not just any technology, but a sophisticated combat system previously possessed by only a handful of developed countries. This isn't just an aircraft purchase. It's a high-level technology transfer. The Philippines now has the right to study, assemble, and develop its own avionic systems, stealth radars, high-pressure jet engines, and intelligent weapon systems. Technologies previously considered impossible to access are now widely available. This collaboration marks a major shift in Philippine defense policy. From a buyer nation, the Philippines is now preparing to become a producer nation. This agreement allows local engineers and technicians to participate in the design and manufacturing process. This means the nation's skills will be honed directly with world-class technology, right here on home soil. The impact is far-reaching. Leading engineering universities are opening new study programs in aeronautics and defense. Domestic companies are being prepared to become part of the global supply chain. This isn't just about the military. It's about a national industrial leap. At the strategic level, this move sends a very clear signal. Amid geopolitical pressure and tensions in the West Philippine Sea, the Philippines is no longer sitting idly by. It is building an air force capable of defending its territory independently with modern technology and combat capabilities relevant for the 21st century. Undeniably, the world is taking notice. Neighboring countries are beginning to recalculate the balance of power in the region. Major powers are beginning to view the Philippines differently, no longer as a small partner, but as a nation on the rise technologically and militarily. This is not the end of the road. It is the beginning of a new era, an era in which the Philippine skies are guarded by its own people, with locally assembled fighter jets and technology from the forefront of global military innovation. The Philippines has opened a new chapter, and the entire region is watching. With this technology transfer, the Philippines will also enter a new phase in regional interoperability. The developed fighter jet will not only be compatible with United States fighter systems, but also with those of regional alliances such as Japan, South Korea, and even Australia. This strengthens the Philippines' position in various joint exercises and multinational operations in the Indo-Pacific region. Furthermore, the political implications of this success cannot be underestimated. The Philippine government is now demonstrating to the world that it is no longer a mere spectator on the Asian geopolitical stage. It is poised to become a significant player with a modern defense system, well-trained personnel, and, for the first time, production capacity capable of meeting international military standards. This technology transfer is also accompanied by the development of modern air testing and simulation centers in Luzon and the Visayas, which will strengthen the training capabilities of Philippine fighter pilots. These facilities are designed to train a new generation of military aviators, who will not only be proficient in flying advanced fighter jets, but also understand the technology behind each system they pilot. Interestingly, some have suggested that this move is part of the Philippines' long-term strategy to create a domestic aerospace doctrine, a military policy framework focused on air defense based on national strength. If successful, this would be a rare example of a developing nation achieving self-sufficiency in the strategic defense sector. Furthermore, this success could have a positive impact on other ASEAN countries. The Philippines is now paving the way for high-tech integration in the region and the possibility of becoming a hub for military technology research and distribution for Southeast Asia is not impossible in the coming decades. And ultimately, this isn't just about fighter jets. It's about a new direction for the nation, a step forward that will determine how the Philippines safeguards its sovereignty, builds national confidence, and stands alongside the world's great powers. Going forward, the presence of this cutting-edge fighter jet technology 
will also strengthen the Philippines' air deterrent strategy. This means not only increased offensive and defensive capabilities, but also a psychological effect on adversaries. Countries that previously considered the Philippines a weak point in regional defense will now have to reconsider before acting aggressively. Furthermore, the success of this technology transfer has created a domino effect on foreign policy. The Philippines has become more confident in its diplomacy, not through confrontation, but through equality. When air power is established, diplomacy will be driven by respect, not fear. And for the Filipino people, this is a source of renewed enthusiasm. The younger generation now has reason to dream of becoming world-class fighter pilots, aerospace technicians, or defense engineers. The image of the military, once considered outdated, has transformed into a symbol of progress, discipline, and national pride. Many observers also predict that this is just the beginning of something much bigger. With the technological foundation already underway, the Philippines has the potential to develop unmanned aerial vehicles, UCAVs, indigenous cruise missiles, and integrated air defense systems within the next decade. And it's not just an empty ambition, it's a vision that's now taking its course. Interestingly, the public response to this project has been overwhelmingly positive. On social media, netizens greeted the news with great enthusiasm. Many called it a silent victory, where the hard work of diplomacy, negotiation, and government consistency finally bore fruit without fanfare. Finally, history will record that at one point in this nation's journey, the Philippines chose not to be a spectator. It became a player, and not just any player, but a nation that successfully broke global technological barriers and proved that determination, when coupled with strategy, can open doors to a future that previously seemed impossible. Now, the Philippine skies are not only wide, they're bold, and for the first time, truly ready. This strategic move also marks a fundamental shift in how the Philippines views its national power. Once, air defense may have been considered merely the final layer of state security. But now, it has become a key foundation of geopolitical strategy, a symbol of technological independence, and a key element in building a modern and sovereign national identity. On a regional scale, this is a message that cannot be ignored. Nations willing to invest in building their own power, not only economically, but also in defense science and technology, will gain a place of honor in the global arena. The Philippines has chosen that path and now stands at a crossroads that will determine the future of its power. Undeniably, many challenges remain. Technology transfer does not mean overnight mastery. The learning process, industrial adaptation, and development of local systems will require time, effort, and consistent policy. But with the momentum already established, failure is no longer an option. While many developing countries are hesitant to take risks, the Philippines is taking a leap. It has made a bold decision to build a future powered by its own technological and human resources. A decision that might have been considered unrealistic in the past is now a reality celebrated by the entire nation. And as the world begins to realize that the Philippines is no longer a nation that simply buys and relies, but one that produces, designs, and leads, its status on the global air power map will change forever. Now, it's not just the sky that's the limit, but a new spirit and a long-term vision that will take the Philippines higher than ever before.